Okay, so now we are going to unbox all these boxes first. Sticky ornament small. Wow, look at a lot of items inside. Sticky ornament small, but it looks huge. Let's see what's inside. Good. Look! Wow! So nice! Tiki totem. Oh, this is a tiki totem. Small. Yeah, it's really nice. Small, but it's very big, huh? Yeah. This size is suitable for most of the Exoterra size from the one feet terrarium to uh, one and a half feet terrarium. Mm. So this is very good for Keikos. Uh, Can use for bearded dragons? As a decoration, yes. Why not? The small ones can go in, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you have a closer look. You can see there are like some holes here that you can put waters or some food here. See? Here, yeah, especially here. for crested and the, geckos. And the back here, see there's a large hole where they can hide inside as well. Really nice. This is really nice. So if you're interested in Exoterra products, you can come to Evermore Pets. We'll leave all the links down below. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to another box. Reptile cage large. Okay, the large one is a very popular one. Very multi-purpose usage. Look at the color. Really wow. Nice. It really looks like the Australian Outback. Yeah, so nice. So this is really suitable for bearded dragons as well, as you can see. Hmm. They can bask on top. Yep. You got ah. a flat surface here to bask on top. Um, a hole large enough for the whole adult bearded dragon. You can fit the whole bearded dragon inside here, no problem. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of this, this round. And more of this will be coming in, different sizes. This are another red cow cake medium. So just now it's large, this is medium size. It's just slightly smaller. This is good for leopard geckos so as well. Palm size. Mm -hmm. Just nice for leopard geckos, scorpions, tarantulas, gecko, uh, other geckos, baby bear dragons. You can use this for almost anything. Yeah, if you get that one, you put it in your Exoterra terrarium, it will fit nicely. Yep. Also, for long term usage, you can consider the large case. Okay, now solar glow lighting. This is very crucial if you have any bearded dragons or any other reptiles. Okay, these are the 80 watts. So if you are interested in the review and more information, we'll leave the links down below. We did some videos about it. Yeah, we have the links on top as well. Yeah. That is the recommended video, so mm -hmm. be sure to check it out. So we have a lot of this. So this is the 80 watt. Do if you are using this, uh, you only need one box. So 
be sure to check out our other So videos. this one is all in one bag, huh? Yep, all in one. We have plenty of this one. Okay, this one is Sun Glow Tight Beam Basking Spot Lamp. The cocoa husk. Substrate. Yay! These are cheaper substrates. The, the cocoa husk, what can they use for? Uh, you can use this as substrate for your geckos, uh, tortoises such as sukata, leopard tortoises, and any kind of tortoises will be just nice. Also, little dragon as well, just for gecko. Actually, they are very useful for a lot of species. Depends on how you use them. So we have basking lamp here, UVA. So if you if they get the this one, seventy-five watts intense basking spot lamp. Mm -hmm. So if they get the solar glow, do they still need this? No, if you are using the solar glow, you don't need this. Mm -hmm. But we can explain it in detail in the last video. Okay, if you are using the uh, UVA, 75 watts, you have to combine it with this one. Combine it with this one. Okay. UVB 150. UVB 150. So they have to use these two yeah, bars together. So if you are not using these two, you can use one solar glow. Otherwise, you have to use two of these together. Mm -hmm. So you have the UVB part as well. I think that's about it. This is a smaller watt touch box, 25 watts only. 25 watts, but with 75 percent intense as well. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are using the um, PVC or wooden enclosure for your bearded dragon, you can use this. Yeah, because those kind of tanks lack um, ventilation. Yeah. Um, they may be advertised as having very good ventilation, but as for as far as ventilation goes, it's very easy to tell whether you have enough of them or not by actually um, looking at the ventilation holes itself. If you don't have enough holes and they, if the air do not circulate well, then you do not have enough ventilation. But for that um, reason alone, they tend to trap more heat inside. Mm -hmm. So and combined with the fact that for those uh, kind of enclosures, the light fixtures are normally not on top of the terrarium but inside the terrarium so if the light fixture is inside the terrarium uh, you don't want to use too high of a wattage otherwise it will be too hot so you use this one 25 watts mm. it will be enough already. if too hot they might get heat stroke yep. and dehydration yep. i think we have some light lamps moonlight lamp Night glow. Okay, this one. This one is suitable if you guys are using air condition um, at night. Um, so at night, usually the temperature go down lower than the day. But for those of you using air condition, um, your temperature might be a bit too low for your pets. Then you use this one to keep. The um, warm enough for them at night mm -hmm. without causing um, um, them to shift from their biological clock meaning to say at night it's supposed to be dark so with this one you don't have to worry um, your enclosure looking like the daytime so it's not bright yellow or it's quite colored it's blue uh, it's just like the moonlight 
so that way your animal will still feel as if it's at night. It's dim, but it provides yeah, heat. heat. Yeah, typically mm. this um, type of lambs are very um, popular during the winter. Yeah, in um, but we are, yeah. are living in tropical countries, so yes. that is why for those people that um, on the air sea at night they can use this type if another they... thing i would like to um, stress on is that um, in our tropical country especially here in malaysia right you do not need the ceramic uh, heat emitter uh, for exotera there is another product which is not a bug but it's a ceramic looking um, heat wave emitter just like a, a heater all right in malaysia we don't need to use that because those are actually um, used in western countries like in US, Germany or Europe where the weather is really cold. For over here, we 50 watts will do the job already and, and the best thing is the price is a lot different. 50 watts is only more than 10 ringgit, right? So if you are using the other type, you will be spending I think three times the price of this one. So that's why in Malaysia, this is good enough for you guys already. Alright, I think that's These are quality um, substrate for your hamsters, gerbils, or chinchillas, as well as rabbits, any mammals, hedgehog as well. So this is very high quality premium product and it smells really good. So if you are into something that's um, more safe for the environment, we recommend this one for your little pets. Oh, yeah. The rest we have to wait for the next batch.